Now, the mask-wearing people had faces with masks. The open-faced people refused and held fast. Those masks did no good, because the virus is small. You might think such a thing wouldn't matter at all. But because they had masks, all the mask-wearing people would brag, We're the kindest of all the town sheeple. With their snoots in the air, they would sniff and they'd snort. We'll have nothing to do with the open-faced sword. And whenever they met some when they were out walking, they'd bitch and they'd moan, squealing and squawking. When the mask-wearing people went out to the mall, could an open face enter the store? Not at all. You only could shop if your faces had masks. Still, the open-faced people refused and held fast. The liberal despots demanded compliance. Cover your faces in the name of fake science. They lied and they threatened without hesitation. No life as before, not without vaccination. When the mask-wearing people had frankfurter roasts, or picnics, or parties, or marshmallow toasts, they'd socially distance with ten persons or less, signaling virtue how their friends were impressed. They kept loved ones away, never let them come near. That's how they rolled, with suspicion and fear. It seemed rather hopeless. The wicked were winning, looting, destroying, and openly sinning. We looked for a leader, a man among men, to restore law and order as once it had been. But never it was, and it never will be, until at long last all the nations accede. That Christ is our king, and the problem is man. We cannot fix this, but only he can. So open-faced people just remain unified. In faith, hope, and love, we have truth on our side. Fast, pray in battle, persecutions endured. The story's been written, the victory assured.